Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is Dilo and I've got another video for you today. Today I'm going to be presenting to you a fan casting video for the one, the only, Dr. Doom, the king of Latveria. This is going to be really, really cool. We're going to be getting into Dr. Doom fan casting for Victor Von Doom for the MCU's Dr. Doom. This is going to be really fun. Now, I have a couple choices that are mainstream, a couple that are a little bit outside the box. All of them I chose not because of mainstream or otherwise, just because I feel that they would be really good. If they're mainstream, that means a lot of people do also think they're good. I have a, a one or two that are already kind of in the MCU, and I'll explain that, but I'm going to go ahead and present them anyway because I think they're still good ideas and there might be opportunity there as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Doctor Doom has already been portrayed three times in the uh, history of the Fantastic Four films. I actually really did like the early 2000s version. I forget what the actor's name is there, but um, nevertheless, uh, I think he's already technically in the MCU now because he's on Marvel's Runaways. And I know that's a TV show, so it falls downstream of the actual MCU. It's not really cross compatible unless they make some major changes in the way that they operate as a business. Nevertheless, all of the iterations have been portrayed terribly including the early 2000s one, even though his costume was pretty sick. He's not the electric guy, and he's not just this tech guy. He's, he's basically, if you were to take Doctor Strange and Iron Man, smash them together into one person, and then make him the sovereign ruler of a nation. Doctor Doom is a plethora of complex identities wrapped into one, and he's basically the best villain ever. Let's get into Doctor Doom in the MCU and who I think could play uh, this role. So let's go. Luke Evans. Luke Evans is six foot and he is 39 years old. Now, this is a little bit on the younger side. And I know that some of my choices are going to be like a little up and down on the age range. But Luke Evans being 39, he could pull off a little bit older. He's uh, probably, I would say, not best known, but favorably known in the culture that's probably going to be watching this video from The Hobbit, Beauty and the Beast. Um, Dracula. Uh, he's a really, really talented actor, um, but he's also got these really cool, crazy eyes that um, are really menacing. His face is just, it's perfect for supervillains. If you see down here, um, there's a, an, a fan casting image of him as Sinestro. It's a Photoshop. It looks so good. I really think that if DC were to pick him up, definitely Sinestro would be the guy to play. However, for Marvel, um, I've seen a lot of people fan casting him for say like Doctor Strange, which would have been really good I actually think that that would be really nice But in the same spirit Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange have a lot in common and in several iterations of the comics Doctor Doom has actually taken up the mantle of Sorcerer Supreme as well from Stephen Strange um, and he's also eventually become uh, I forgot what the exact name is but in it after iron after Tony Stark steps down as Iron Man um, Doctor Str uh, Doctor, sorry, Doctor Doom at one point, Victor Von Doom, picks up in the role of Iron Man, which is really, it's really cool and really crazy, but he's a, he is super tech, um, high, high tech, some of the world's greatest, but he's also the, one of the top, like, three sorcerers in the MCU, so he's, or in Marvel at all, he's really, really powerful. So I wanted to just show off. Some people are looking at uh, the same idea. He's got that face that would look really nice. Like the, sh the shape of the mask for Doctor Doom um, is really, I think, important. It's really iconic. And just look at the chiseled, like the broad cheekbones that come down, um, down, you know, like this. He's got really like chiseled features and it would, I think, fit the mask really nicely. Um, obviously, you could adapt the mask to anybody's face, but... It looks really comic book accurate. So I would say that's a really good one. That's really fun. Talented actor would do great. Let's keep moving. So next up, Goran Viznik. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I don't care. So um, he's from ER. He's from Timeless. He was in Elektra. Um, this guy, if you don't know him, he's six foot four, which is really tall, which I like for powerful roles. I want someone with a powerful presence um, on screen. And he is a big dude. 46 years of age, Dr. Doom is the leader of the nation of Latveria, which is a fictional country. It's not real, but it's somewhere in uh, in Europe, right? So it's like in kind of Eastern Europe um, location. And this actor is Croatian-American. He's got a, a Croatian type of accent. And it, I think it would lend itself really nicely to ma bring, making Latveria come to life. 
Um, 46 years old is really close to where I want him. I want him between 45 and like 55 or maybe even 60 because he's supposed to be like a rival to Reed Richards and that's kind of where I've been casting my Reed Richards. So even though there are younger options on the table um, in my listings, I think Goran Visnich is really good. Um, look at his eyes. He's got really like strong piercing eyes and this is one of the things that I would, I would definitely want to have in an actor um, because with Dr. Doom, he's going to be behind the mask. You want him to have a powerful presence, and this guy's freaking huge. Um, and also, you got to have, like, really good emoting with your eyes. And he does a really good job of this. He's very menacing. Um, and especially in the show Timeless, he's, uh, in season one particularly, very menacing. Um, really cool character that he plays. I forget what the name is, but um, I really enjoyed his character. And then in season two, they kind of round him out as more of a complex anti-hero kind of character. Um, and he, you know, I don't want to spoil too much, but they end up having to work together a little bit uh, at certain points. And so he's really, really uh, fun to watch on screen. I really like this guy. I think he would be really good in the role. So again, he's six foot four and he's 46 years old. So that's pretty much right where I want him and he could play a little bit older as well you know and be behind the mask you're not gonna be able to tell his age either so I think with this one age is not as much as uh, relevant as say like height is um, and acting ability eyes and that kind of thing next up Joaquin Phoenix and so Joaquin Phoenix as you guys know is gonna be in Joker 2019 um, he is working with DC but that Joker film is not part of the DCEU and yes, Warner Brothers has said that they're going to plan to try to make as many of their films as possible stand alone. Um, even though they, they might be technically in the DCEU, they're trying to keep them just, just focus on making your own great films. Not, not worrying so much about world building, and which is a good move. I think that's really great for DC. I'm really excited. Aquaman was wonderful. I can't wait to see Shazam. Wonder Woman uh, was really great, even though it did feel like it was a little bit connected with a couple of Easter eggs. The vast majority of the film was standalone. And that being said, I would be willing to bet that him being in a DC film in 2019, Joker, it being standalone, it being one of the Elseworld stories, would have no effect. And he would be able to play Doctor Doom in the MCU. I would be willing to bet that would be fine. Also, five foot eight, he's not super tall, but he's incredibly talented as an actor. He's one of the best. 44 years age, of age. Uh, again, 45 is kind of where I want him, but he looks a lot He looks a lot older, which is great. Um, I'm going to jump ahead. A lot of people have been seeing what I've seen here with Joaquin Phoenix as Dr. Doom. He's got, he's got those eyes that are just very open, um, deep. It's really uh, really a good, a good look. If you were to just block out just, just this part right here, he could tell stories with just his eyes and his voice and his, his body language. Um, and he, he does. Uh, I really enjoyed him in Signs, even though that was a while ago. Um, but I'm looking forward greatly to seeing him in Joker 2019. A lot of people are. Fun fact, he actually had, um, uh, what was it? He had auditioned for the role of Doctor Strange. And he ended up not getting the role. It went to Benedict Cumberbatch, of course. But Doctor Strange, again, like I've said before, Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom have a very unique relationship where Doctor, Sh Doctor Doom has actually attempted to become the Sorcerer Supreme and lost out to Doctor Strange. Very similar in their backstories, but Doctor Doom um, practices a lot more of the darker magics um, with less concern for the ramifications or consequences. Um, and so... I think that he would be really good. Instead of, obviously, he missed out on the opportunity to play Doctor Strange, have him go to Doctor Doom. That would be really good. He would look the part pretty much the right age, or he could play the right age. Incredibly talented. I think this might be your guy. Um, so next up is Michael Fassbender, six foot zero, 41 years of age. He's very young, but um, I will say that behind the mask, his eyes could tell stories that almost nobody else could. And we know this because of his work in First Class. We know this because of, you know, the X-Men films, First Class, Days of Future Past, Apocalypse. He's one of the better parts of the recent X-Men franchise um, by a long shot. And he is so 
talented. I love this guy. He's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm going to jump ahead again. Assassin's Creed, even though the film wasn't that great, he was really good in it. 300 was great and Glorious Bastards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So if you guys see this, um, even though it's not the highest of quality, his eyes look just for, for Dr. Doom, again, just block out just this part right here. Like everything out here, nothing, just, just right here. You got to be able to tell stories like that. Um, flashback sequences, you'll be able to show your face. There might be a portion where he's like melted or something and then he like puts on the mask. But for the most part, it's going to be his eyes and his body language. So you see uh, him here. He tells power. He, he talks about like struggle without even using words. His eyes are, have been a huge asset and playing Magneto, I think, has really equipped him to play Doctor Doom. So those franchises are separate. X-Men's probably coming to a close very, very shortly because the Disney deal is about to close. And uh, I, I'm almost certain we're not going to see any standalone, like, or not standalone, but any X-Men that are not in the MCU anymore. They're going to get recast. I would say Marvel is best to pick up uh, Michael Fassbender if they're going to go with a slightly younger Reed Richards. They should go with a slightly younger um, Dr. Victor Von Doom. And so that's, that's my take there. So uh, again, let me just uh, show you guys a couple of these, you know, considerations, these images. That's a funny, funny looking Photoshop there. Um, but yeah, so like this is comic book him, comic book Magneto. This is not him. This was the early 2000s Doctor Doom. But again, the costume was really sick for that, that Doctor Doom. Um, I, would, I would hope that they would go a little bit more close to the original um, and get like a big fat flowing cape. That would be really dope. And a <laughs> giant gold chain from the shoulder shoulder uh, piece to the shoulder piece. And they, they would totally do that. Marvel would totally do that because they did that with Mysterio. They had the actual like costume. And Thor, they did the costume. There's no reason they shouldn't do Doctor Doom that way too. So next up on the list, Viggo Mortensen. So yes, he was on my list for Magneto. Yes, he was. But there's a lot of characters, uh, actors that I wanted for Magneto. If Vigo doesn't get Magneto, I certainly want him to be in Doctor Doom. Uh, so check this out. 60 years old, that is pretty much where I want um, my Doctor Doom. Even though that is a little bit on the older side, I still want that because I want an older Reed Richards. Um, five foot eleven is good stature, and he is. Look, just I'll, I'll just check out this Green Book, amazing. Uh, Lord of the Rings, some of the best films of all time. Um, let me just show you guys what else I'm looking at. So people are seeing what I'm seeing here. People want um, Aragorn <laughs> recast into um, Doctor Doom. He, uh, when he was as Strider before he was revealed to be, um, you know, the the king to come in Lord of the Rings, he had this green hood, um, and it kind of is it was remis reminiscent of him potentially playing this uh, this Doctor Doom character. Now his eyes. I wanted to show you guys um, his eyes here. Let me see if I can if I can do this. Zoom in here. You guys see this? So one thing about Doctor Doom is that he's not just like trying to rule the world, but he's actually pretty good at ruling, and he's actually quite compassionate to his own people. Um, and so you got to have someone that has layers, and Viggo Mortensen does layers incredibly well. He can be savage. He can be vicious. He can be um, rough. He can also be very kind and compassionate and tender like he was with the hobbits in the Lord of the Rings uh, and with uh, Arwen. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll leave that there for the most part. I, let me see if... Uh... All right. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty much it. So let me just recap my top five. Okay. So my top five are Luke Evans at... Uh, let me see if I, can, if I can do this. Luke... My top five here... I'm going to recap for you is Luke Evans, 39 years old, six foot tall. We have Goran Viznik, uh, 46 years old, uh, six foot four. We have Joaquin Phoenix at number three, 44 years old, five foot eight. We have Michael Fassbender at number four, 41 years old and six foot tall. Then at number five, we have Viggo Mortensen, 60 years old and 5'11". 60 years old, I believe, makes him the oldest person on the list. Um, but that's 
that is where I want him. That's pretty much where I want him. If I could have my wish, I'd have an older um, Dr. Doom, Reed, Rich, Rich, Dr. Doom, Reed Richards, and Ben Grimm. They would be a little bit older. But um, I'm willing to <laughs> obviously compromise. I don't get to make those decisions. So next up on the list, um, for the first person in the uh, bonus pick list, Richard Armitage. Now, this guy, yes, I know he has already been in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He was in Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, when Captain America was getting the Super Soldier Serum uh, put on, and then he gets all swole, and um, Peggy Carter's like, oh, she like touches his pecs or whatever. Then there's that Hydra agent that like, he's he's there witnessing it, and then he takes the he steals the plans and then runs out the building, and then they start that chase. Richard Armitage, R Richard Armitage was that guy. He was that Hydra agent. And then when he Cap finally catches up to him, they have that quick little fight, and um, and then he he gets subdued, and then he like bite he pulls out this fake tooth and he bites it, and he's all Heil Hydra, and then he dies. That's basically him. Now again, that's one of the first films in the MCU. It would be very easy to retcon that character um, with Richard Armitage. Really good actor, like really freaking good. He was Thorin Oaken. Let me just go ahead forward. Uh, Forty seven years old. Um, and uh, six foot two, he's really tall, but he actually played a hobbit. He played, uh, I'm sorry, not a hobbit. He played a dwarf in The Hobbit. And uh, he was uh, um, Thorin Oakenshield, the main dwarf out of the, uh, out of the group. But uh, look at this. People are already checking him out uh, to play Doctor Doom. Um, he's got really, like, really piercing eyes. He looks a lot like Hugh Jackman, if I'm being honest, um, which is good. But I think that he would also be able to play this role really, really nicely. Um, again, he can play like prestigious. He can play powerful. He can play strong. He can also play Wolverine. He's actually in a Marvel official podcast uh, story uh, on any of your like podcasting sites, iTunes, um, Apple Podcasts, I think Spotify and um, SoundCloud and that, all that stuff, CastBox. You can check him out. Um, he plays Wolverine in a run. Um, I'm forgetting what the name of it is, but it's it's a it's an audio story of Wolverine, um, and he does that. Uh, let me see. I think this one might might say. I uh, know it doesn't, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so he and he's he's just so so talented. I would love to see him play the role of Doctor Doom, uh, even though he is a little bit younger. For what I, I mean, he's actually kind of in that pocket. I said, I said, uh, like 45, 55 ish. He's 47, so he's in that pocket. That's pretty good. So he's first on my on my pick list. So let me get to the next one. All right. So, um, I wanted to uh, go ahead and show you guys a really fun one that I think is a little outside the box, but at the same time could work uh, if you play it a little bit differently. Manu Bennett. 49 years old, five foot 11. Good stature. You guys know him from the CW's Arrow as he played um, Deathstroke. He played Slade Wilson, and he does it really, really well. Now, there's another. Uh, he was also in The Hobbit, um, where he plays Azog the Defiler. Um, you guys know him as the White Orc. Um, gosh, this guy is such a savage. I've actually had the pleasure of seeing and kind of uh, asking him a question at a panel at a Comic Con. Yeah, here in the Bay Area, and uh, he's just a really cool guy. Like he's so great, but unfortunately, the old leadership at uh, Warner Brothers and DC they didn't allow him to uh, continue playing Slade Wilson. Uh, they kind of cut him off a little bit, and then uh, yeah, he was a little bit, I think, uh, a little bit frustrated. But he was hiding it really nicely <laughs> on stage when I got to ask him a question. I made a video about that. You could check that out. It's probably from like, I don't know, March or something of 2018. Um, but anyway, nevertheless, um, you can check that out if you want to. But Manu Bennett, uh, let me go back to here, is uh, super strong, uh, super rough. He's got a nice accent. He's New Zealander. and uh, But I think it would be really cool to see him play Dr. Doom. And the reason I'm saying that is not just because he, he plays Slade, who's a really fun villain, um, really cool, uh, rough around the edges, but because he also played a wizard. And so this is a show that um, you guys probably haven't seen, but it's called The Shannara Chronicles. The Shannara Chronicles, me and my wife watched it, 
And um, I'll be honest, the show is not super great. It's kind of like it's kind of like teen angsty Lord of the Rings on a Power Rangers budget. <laughs> but it's not it's not really on a Power Rangers budget. It's just it's really teen angsty, and it, that can get on your nerves if you're not into that. And I, I'll I'll be honest, it was a little bit rough at times, but not because of him. He was the best part. And actually, the guy who played Gimli, I'm forgetting his name, but he plays um, the Human King of the land in this show as well and there's some really talented actors that are like supporting characters or co-stars i think the main cast like the the two female leads and then uh the main the younger main actor are not that great but manu bennett was just fantastic in this and uh he made the show like super enjoyable he plays alan on the wizard um and he or it's actually a druid sorry but he plays the druid and it functions kind of like a wizard. He is the magic user and he has to mentor and teach the main character how to become the Shannara. And uh, it's just, it's so fun. He does such a good job um, doing like all the spells and everything and just fighting with magic. He's no stranger to this and he's no stranger to wearing all that armor either. Um, and because of his work as S Slade Wilson, he also is used to wearing the mask and using body language um, for his storytelling. And he's just, he's such a powerful actor. I really like this guy. Um, so anyway, let me see if I can uh, uh, see. I don't think there's any other fan castings really for him. Um, unless you want to kind of like use your imagination here and pretend <laughs> that this green hood is over this mask. That's kind of a fun, that's kind of a stretch of the imagination a little bit. I won't bore you guys too much longer with that. But anyway, I really enjoy Manu Bennett. 5'11", 49 years of age. Let me know if you think the same down below, if that could work um, in, the, in the MCU. I would like to give him a shot. Really like that guy. Next up. Next up is Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig is 5'10", 50 years old. So again, he's in that upper bracket of like age range that I'm aiming for. Um, I, I really, really like him. Obviously, he's uh, not as old as Viggo Mortensen, but he's, uh, you know, 50 is right right close to a lot of the picks that I had for Reed Richards. Makes it just great. He's really strong, really powerful. He's got a great build. Um, we know him as James Bond. He's been in basically all the recent ones. Um, I'm going to just jump ahead. I don't think I'm going to have to sell this one very hard for you guys. <laughs> But look at this image. This is pretty funny. Doom is back from Latveria with love. <laughs> I really like that. That's really funny. Whoever made that, good job. That was really good. Um, I wanted to also show you, the, the reason I, I was thinking him is not only is he powerful uh, and I would really like to see him in the MCU, but his eyes, his eyes are just, look at that. Could you imagine just seeing that behind the Doom mask? That's That's the kind of like, it, this is the prime example of what Doom needs to look like behind the mask. Um, and I think it's I think it's really good. He would be really great in it. I don't think I have to sell that to you guys. This is a fan favorite. Even though there's not a lot of fan casting art on here. Um, yeah, not a lot of not a lot of fan casting art for this one, but that's all right. I, I really I really enjoy it. And I'm gonna see in the comments if you guys think the same. Next up, so the final pick for uh, my Dr. Doom. I know I have a lot of bonus picks for you guys, but the final bonus pick here is Mads Mikkelsen from Hannibal, Polar, Arctic, um, Casino Royale. You guys also have seen him in Star Wars Rogue One. He plays Galen Erso, the father of Jyn Erso. He's also, yes, he's in Doctor Strange, so I know he's already in the MCU, um, but to me, I don't care. <laughs> and I should care, I know, I know. But here's the thing, six foot tall, 53 years of age. In Doctor Strange, Mads Mikkelsen plays Kaecilius. He's the servant of Dormammu. If you were never ever gonna show Doctor Doom's actual face, you could 100% get away with recycling this actor um, in, and playing Doctor Doom as if they're not the same actor. And we'll just, let's just take a look at this. Doctor Doom, Doctor Victor Von Doom. Look at this. I can, I can not only see this, I want it desperately. <laughs> he would be so good in this role. Just his voice, his power, how, how he can be so like 
just – I know I'm using this word a lot, but menacing is kind of what I want. If you're going to have a guy with the name Doom in his actual name, Victor Von Doom, he better be freaking menacing. You know what I mean? Like he better be scary. And so without even trying, and that's this guy. He definitely has that look. Um, gosh, I love this. This one right here specifically I think looks a lot like Doom because of that hood. Um, but geez, man, I would love to see him play – Victor Von Doom. And again, he's in the MCU, I know. So this is highly unlikely. But if you can't get him for Doom, there's another choice that's very similar. His brother, Lars Mikkelsen. So Mads Mikkelsen here on the left, Lars Mikkelsen here on the right. So again, this is Mads. So this is Mads. This is Lars. Okay, so check this out. Lars Mikkelsen also has those eyes. Lars Mikkelsen is also a really talented actor. I saw him first on Sherlock. I haven't seen him in a whole lot else, but gosh, he blew my socks off when I saw uh, that episode of Sherlock where he plays that like high functioning thinker guy that has the library or whatever. He was my favorite episode of Sherlock. I, I didn't know that I could like anyone better than Benedict Cumberbatch on that show until I saw this episode with Lars Mikkelsen. So Lars Mikkelsen is six foot four, which is really tall, and he's 54 years old. Again, right in that pocket of where I want him. And then six foot four is great stature. You could tell, you could have so much like power um, as he stands there looming over everybody else. Um, and then just those eyes, being able to tell that story from behind the, uh, from behind the mask. So I know I did this one a little bit backwards. I normally start with this slide and then go to the others. But Lars Mikkelsen, if you can't get his brother, I, I think that Lars Mikkelsen is not only a good substitute, he's a great choice. So there, I know I had five original choices and this is my five bonus, but I'm gonna recap again for you guys um, so that you guys can see it all, okay? So for Victor Von Doom, number one, Luke Evans, uh, six foot, 39 years old. We have Goran Viznik. 46 years old, six foot four. We have Joaquin Phoenix at 44 years of age, five foot eight. We have Michael Fassbender, 41 years of age, six feet tall. Vigo Mortensen, 5'11", 60 years old. We have Richard Armitage, 47 years old, six foot two. We have uh, Manu Bennett, 49 years old, 5'11". We have Daniel Craig, 50 years old, and five foot ten, Mads Mikkelsen at fifty three years old and six foot tall, and then we also have his brother, Lars Mikkelsen, fifty four years old, six foot four. And those are my picks for Victor Von Doom, Doctor Doom, the greatest villain ever, ever. He inspired freaking Darth Vader. <laughs> How are you gonna? He's like literally the greatest villain of all time. I can't wait to see Marvel bring this guy to life as soon as the deal closes and they can finally get writing on some scripts and stories and figuring out if they want to start Doctor Doom in his own franchise, if they want him to be the villain or a counter like counterpart of Doctor Strange 2, Black Panther 2, however you want to do Doctor Doom to introduce him into the MCU without him just being like the one-off villain of a Fantastic Four film. You can't do that. He is a mainstay in the MCU. He's his own hero in his own right. He believes himself to be righteous and just. Um, he is the greatest. So those are my picks. That's technically 10 picks. I had five mains, five bonus. You guys let me know down below in the comments who you like the best from my list. Is there anyone that I missed and didn't think of that would be awesome in this role? Let me know again down below in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on notifications by clicking the bell button next to the subscribe button so that you can be alerted right away when I go live next time and that way you won't miss a thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check out all the other fan casting videos I have uh, on list as well. I've been doing the Fantastic Four. I just did Namor. I have the X-Men. You guys, check those out if you like that. Check out the previous fan casting summit. Um, and there's a lot more to come. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.
Hey guys, Delo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.